10 seconds remaining. Five Dyer seconds team. remaining. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. your heroes. Sieging this high ground here already is Kaori. Taking way too much damage, the Earth Spike's there, and first blood obtained from FY. That was quite a bit of a first blood. Already action happening, too sweet padding into the game. Don't worry. I don't want to think I'm uh, pronouncing uh, Kaori's Kaori? name correct. Kaori? 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 Kauri? Kauri? I feel like it's Kauri. The anime girl name, you know? Kauri. Into anime epi. I am into anime from time to time. I haven't been able to watch quite a lot though recently. Oh man, busy man. Hashtag life. <laughs> I haven't watched it in a while. Does that mean you're a big weeb, Adam? I watch anime. I wouldn't call myself a weeb. It's different, man. It's different. <laughs> what? Yeah, What's yeah. different? What, the the amount of hours that you put into watching something the weeb, like that? Weeb is someone that like is dedicated to the lore and the story and everything of anime. <laughs> I just enjoy watching anime. It ain't the same. So, an anime enjoyer. Anime enjoyer, that's right, that's me. Mm -hmm. Do you think we should be looking at the mid lane here with Zeus and Void, or is there another lane in particular that you think interests you a lot more? Uh, probably bot lane, if anything. Sorry, I say bot, I mean top lane. It's terribly Shadow Demon lane. I don't know how it's gonna go. I feel like SD is not the best up here at Uwamar with the double career snipe. Double couriers. Hey, Techies is pretty long range. He has the most annoying physical attack ever when you're on the lane. <laughs> I, I remember when true. he used to build like these two nullifiers or something like that, even when he was. Two a nullifiers. <laughs> Sorry, two null talismans. Two null talismans. Null talismans <laughs> not two nullifiers. Oh my god. It's, it's almost the same name, man. I, I, I... Valve no makes it you. hard when they introduce these items. Nullifier and Null Talismans. They they almost sound exactly the same, even though that one's 5,000 gold and another one's 500 gold. But it's beside the point. It is what it is, my friend. Part of being a Dota player. You gotta know. Do, do, you, remember when, do you remember when Falacratry came out and everyone was like, how the hell did you pronounce that? I was one of those people. Dude, I'm sure the neutral items were hard to pronounce while top lane Chalice has to TP out, TP's the tower. 
think FY went to stack there maybe. Tier 2000 actually doing pretty well up here so far, better than Chalice. I actually felt like this would be a harder lane for Tier 2000, but Quest doing really well so far. Actually using all the wild axes here onto Kaori. Well, they're doing alright though. The Metamorphosis is going to expire now though. So now is the pressure. Sure, Ray. As an Earth Spike comes down there, do they have enough to take down the Shadow Demon? Well, one charge there. They will get the hit. They will get the kill. Nice punish onto the Shadow Demon. Knowing Meta's down, TB doesn't really do anything right now. It's going for a Lotus Blur. That is a stun. That's how things looking bottom here for Lou. He's on himself. Top of the CS at the moment. Three minutes in, having an okay time here. His man is doing all right, able to push away Amar from time to time. Trying to control the lane though, both Amar and Omar are. Amar and Omar playing the Mars. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure you pronounce those both names correctly. Lane's going pretty well for Azure so far, barring Chalice's lane. Pretty even, actually, between both the silence. Omar might be in trouble here. It's the blast off. No, he's good. The blast off's there. Oh, no. Decay. This, this decay might be a kill. Oh, Omar's gonna deny himself to the Ancients. Nice, nice done. Cool. Nice cool. He had another blood grenade on Tian Ming. I'm not sure if it was on cooldown there. Maybe he didn't want to waste it. Two grenades for one kill on the support. Nah. It's probably gonna get a refill for a noob here as well. With um with this Zeus pick up here, do you remember when the big update obviously of course came out? Who doesn't? With the uh, the map change here, um, God, Chalice! Oh, the poison. <laughs> Five poison stacks on him. Level two, Shadow Poison. That that was a lot of damage. But do do you remember um, when that ability, the the update, obviously of course came out, and Zeus had a change into his Aghanim shard, which was the lightning hands, and everyone was building attack speed <laughs> items. Attack speed Lundstone. Zeus. I yeah, remember. And the Manta. That, that, was, uh, that was a weird one. Not the better patch. patch hashtag what, universal. Hashtag universal. And I wonder who came up with this. So you like all top lane. Oh, meanwhile though, TA2000 was found there with a rotation. It's a Caterpillar it's wave too, so a bit of pressure gonna come in here. Kari pulled the creep. Maybe they actually can find Kyrie here as well. Kill. The no. mid lane, though, Sondas dies. How did that happen? Did he get level 6 first here, Noob? I did not catch what happened, but Somnus is level 6 as well. Maybe just getting a little too low there. Kyrie does manage to pull the top wave off the tower, so no real tower pressure here. Oh, FY4 stacks. Kyrie. A little bit oh, of rough. a fight. Oh, 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 the infused raindrops. Oh, oh man. that's why you buy infused raindrops, ladies and gentlemen. You can see there the Thunder God's Wrath. It wasn't enough. That is why you get them early on. You question yourselves, should I get infused raindrops? I mean, it costs 200 gold. Oh, yes. They are so impactful. And that just comes to show. And look at this Medusa's found with the Spear of Mars. Along with those sticky bombs as well, they get the kill on Medusa, Quest Esports do. As Amar will proceed to try and run away here within the trees. Has to be careful here of the Earth Bite though, because FY running around the other side of the, the Lotus Pool here. Will be able He's to so tanky, I feel like can turn Lotus. here. He's still okay, maybe they could. I mean, Omar has the blast off in nine. Sticky oh, bomb in four. Noob comes rotating in here with an astral step. And it looks like they will indeed be able to find themselves Tian Ming, and they will do indeed. I it's hope I'm a pronounced that right as again. well. Tian Ming, you got it, man. You got it. 
I got it, I got it. Yeah, Lou getting a bit too low from the right clicks of Omar there. It's caught off by a spear, so Quest doing really well. Just using Raph not getting a kill is definitely not something you see too often. Something you do not want to happen in Zeus. Who's interesting enough, Summon is going for a flag tree here. Summon is why. Oh, that's a dead lion. <laughs> Level 2 metamorphosis, you know, 132 damage. That's, that's quite a lot. Another ball refill for Noob. They might go on Somnus here. It's gonna fight for the rune. Actually spawns bottom here. It's gonna be an invis for Noob. RNG not in favor of the Thunder God. See Chalice going for a helm as well. Just wants to apply more pressure to the lane. Oh, he's in trouble. Meanwhile, level 6, Primal Roar. Comes out. Ori is found and taken out there. Tian Ming will actually get the kill. Thanks to Charles with the Primal Roar. Pick up the Shadow Demon. May perhaps start pushing the top tower. Meanwhile, oh, blast off attempts there onto Loom on the bottom. Spear there as well. Can they melt down the mana? That is the question. They do do indeed. Only around about. 100 mana remaining, but we'll be able to get some back with that Mystic Snake. Where did it go? It vanished. Well, Let's get 100 is back. Somnus is top, a rotation here from Noob. This could be a big team fight here. The Chalice has been heavily slowed down here by the Demonic Purge. He's Too still much okay damage. He still survives. They want to try and turn it around here. Somnus, with the magical damage, will find the kill there indeed onto Kyori. And Chalice survives on 50 HP. We'll TP back to base. Yeah, flag tree reveal from Somnus. So much damage from the first chain lightning. Quest not really in a position to defend that there. Tombstone as well on top of the Zeus. So hard to fight into early on. Nice rotation from Azure, but they will not claim the tower, so Quest not too unhappy about the death there. Meanwhile, TA2000 just trying to farm up here, has himself a Falcon Blade for the mana regen to spam those Conjure Image illusions to try and farm up as fast as humanly possible. Is going for a Dragonlance next after this Falcon Blade, so perhaps we may see him try and rotate around between certain team fights here for Quest Esports. Yeah, I think he will be participating with this item build, maybe just try and trade towers. He is pretty strong with the Mars Arena in fights, especially if they can get on top of the Zeus. There's no real other hero that deals with him. Probably around Mars Mar dagger timing. Yeah, he's trying to get this blink right now. Is still quite a while away. Has gone for quite a lot of strength items here, especially with the Soul Ring and the two braces, so it's pretty tanky here on the Mars. I'm surprised we don't really see Meteor Hammers anymore. Although they caught themselves an Undying with the Spear. FY is going to rotate in, though does have himself a finger of death. Amar has to be careful. He will be able just to get away, hanging around here within the arena. A blast off there connects onto two. They will take down the Shadow Demon, but in comes Noob with an astral step. Will claim the life of FY as now proceeding to try and take out the Undying here. And Ming, Noob does not have himself to simulate though, or astral step. He has nice to be careful. In. Omar is found there. And the Primal Roar comes out. Noob is gone. Where are you going, Amar? Here for just a trade on FY. Amar's going to try and TP, but they do not have themselves a cancel. So he will get himself out. Oh, man, I just want to say, Amar could have speared the Beastmaster and probably saved Noob there, but he went for the greedy spear on Tian Ming, trying to get the kill in Disruption Ball and Kari. Is he going for a. Nah, just trying to bait out some rotations down here. Well, TA2000 now trying to utilize this metamorphosis that he has to 
take this tier one tower. He's got himself the Dragon Lance. Look at why he has queued up next. Going for the Diffusal Blade against the Medusa. He's got a, quite a while yet on this Metamorphosis Expiry. Oh, Noob trying to come in there, doesn't get the A for Rem, then FY, he's going to walk into it anyway. Will be found. I don't think there was any escape there, to be honest. Wasn't able to get through the tree line. And that was we'll the entry that. sign. Yeah, we missed Kaiori get a, a kill there on the Undying. Do you know what I mean? Got taken and has been too. owning on this shout, even. He's hitting the poison yeah, stacks that... over and over again. Yeah, I think that may have been the poison stacks there with Amar on the spear. Actually, unfortunately, we did miss that. Bottom tower is under attack. Map getting smaller for Azure. They do have the top tier one, but they lose both mid and bottom. bottom but they're gonna try and open it back up again with a smoke. There's a There's bomb three. There. The smoke breaks with Omar on the high ground here. They're gonna attempt to go for Omar. Nice earth spike. They will find the kill. Killing spree for Somnus. Though a blink dagger has Radiant's been obtained now tower. on Omar. Set scary stuff here. We may see a big arena, which will catch all of the Jure. Right. We have Lou on the top lane as well, trying to farm up on the Medusa, who is top of the net worth at the moment. But following closely behind is both the Void Spirit and the Terra Blade. TA 2000 and Noob, they're doing incredibly well at the moment in regards to net worth. But so is, you know, Somnus and Chalice as well. I mean, all the cores pretty evened out right now. But they're going to go for another smoke here on the Jure. Right. May perhaps try and find themselves something. The smoke will break on Kaiori, who is found there with an Earth Spike. Will be taken out. Somnus is going to be able to bottle himself up yeah, hey, a haste rune. rune there. He's going to try and utilize it, but look at this. The Blink and the Spear along with the Arena as well. It's going to be able to find Somnus. Somnus taken out. So at least they'll get some vengeance for their fallen comrade on the Shadow Demon there. They found themselves an Earth Spike here onto Noob. Now attempting to go for him now on a short ray. The finger of death is there, but Noob was able to heal up with thanks to the magic wand. Now gonna try and attempt to get out, but the decay will find him. And they will take down the void spirit. Somnus probably feeling very strong with the haste rune, but did not expect the bling dagger from Amar. Very nice reveal, catches him in the arena. I just wanna say Kari has been so good at just tanking ganks this game. I feel like he's got kills. That he shouldn't be getting, and he's also broke every small man has seven deaths, ten on his team, maybe a bit too many, hey, but his cards he aren't still dying. Has himself because an eight months. Mm -hmm. 3.6k net worth. And Medusa Manta style now, so Lou gonna be able to use those split shot Manta style illusions to start clearing waves now and farm camps. So that Ooh, farm acceleration the will be there. There's Noob. Oh, a blast off. Oh, oh nice wait, 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 the blast off was cancelled? Was that an Earth Spike? Is the, the Primal Roar comes out. Omar's still alive though. Chalice is dead. Omar will finally fall from the decay, but in return, TA2000 is going to get a double kill by killing both Chalice and Lian Ming. Lian Ming, sorry. A cult bracelet plus the cloak on the techies. How he's looking. This guy's just going into a triangle by himself, man. What a gangster. He's not have a care in the world. He's... Let's try and find Somnus. Go away, Somnus. Protecting the illusion rune. I think we'll be able to take that. Lose next item. Attempting to go for a butterfly here on the do set. Azure, so nice. actually smoke oh. again. Look at this, it breaks. They found themselves Noob here and Blink and Hex there, but the save from Kaori with the disruption. Is Noob going to be able to get out a lovely Earth Spike there from FY though to counteract the save of the disruption? Omar's dead as well. They find two here on Azure Ray, and that's definitely a middle tier one tower for them. Really well played. I mean, this is why Lion is feared so much. Did blink in there with the Hex. I, I wonder if the disruption was too early there and maybe perhaps Karori needed to save on that disruption for some time because as soon as he came out of it, Earth Spike down, Noob dead. And they find that middle tier one. Missouri with all the moves so far, looking pretty damn good. 
Radiance bottom tower. Quest keeping up with Nevers though, but Lou is gonna hit this butterfly timing in another three or four minutes here. And I'm not sure what Quest has to deal with it other than disruption. Which we've only seen this defensively so far. Do you think Kurori should have saved that disruption there for some time? And waited yeah, out the Yeah, you hex? do want to wait a while. Noob is pretty tanky. I think we've been oh, good if you Oh, Lou. Lou. Is he being scouted out? Oh, he uses the Manta. the Manta style illusions though. Wait, do oh, they, they think that the real one? one? No, they know the real one. They've got the real one. With the disruption, the blast off is there as well. Will they be able to take out the Medusa just in the nick of time as the arena comes out? They will delete the Medusa! Along with the Undying there as well. They lose two here on Azure Ray. A lot of reactions from Azure Ray. They have TPs. Maybe thinking they could have saved Lou if he got the Stone Gaze lost, but just way too much damage. Oh, Somnus though. Coming in to maybe get the DD. Able to avoid the Aether Remnant. Oh, no. The finger is there and Noob is gone. Okay. Look at that. Somnus now wants well. to try and find more there. And Mar will be able to get back though. Oh, there's kills left and right here between both teams. I mean, a lovely gank there from Quest Esports, but... I mean, lovely stuff there from Somnus and FY as well. FY is doing so much work here with this Blink Dagger and the Hex and the Earth Spike. The damage output during Hex is insane. Somnus with this flag tree just doing way too much. Azuri, they look like they're heading towards Roshan now. Is Barfly done for Lu? There's a Helm of the Overlord too. No butterfly yet. Still quite a ways away actually. But they are gonna force gonna a rush Roshan regardless. though. Yeah, they, the they have the Helm of the Overlord this time. Flash Golem too. Tombstone, really good at taking Roshan down. Why the hero is quite a hot pick right now. And Solar Crest as well, I'm telling I did not catch that. Oh. And it doesn't look like quest going to even attempt at contesting this Roshan. So here just now going into the hands of Lou. Gonna help to survive potential further ganks as Butterfly is almost achieved. Still say around about 1,300, actually no, 1,800 gold remaining away. until this Butterfly is obtained. Sanjin Yeah, I think he just yeah, wants it against the uh, Lion and the Beastmaster. Some nice HP as Radiant's well against the Zeus Burst. Seeing no value. This is where um, this is where 27 minutes hits. He gets a tier three neutral item token, and he gets himself a Titan Sliver. Extra stat resist. Again. Never stun him again. That'll be, what, 32 stat resist, I think? I think Titan Sliver gives 12%? I hope I'm correct, or is it 16? I hope you're correct too, because I do not know the answer, but I think it's- I'll tell you the answer. It is 12%. I was right. Oh, yeah, got I was right the first time. Oh, look at this. Another catch. Yeah, they took their Tormentor. It's now Kaiori. Most definitely dead here, revealed by the Thunder God's Wrath. Tried to attempt to use a Glimmer Cape there, but will be found. And the tier two will be taken out also here by the hands of Azure Ray. They should force Quest back here. They have a catapult. I'm surprised they're not just forcing TPs. That's quite a big mistake by them. I mean, even though the tier 2 tower is taken, according to the game, both teams are in of a chance of winning this. Oh, they see no It's pretty even. Oh, that's a big astral step, though Noob has to be very careful here. TA2000, he's on the hunt. They'd want to come forward there. The rest of Azure Ray going to try and get themselves out. The arena is committed. They have caught themselves an undying. But where can they get themselves the guilt that he's still alive? He's still alive. Heals up. Flesh Golem. Armor from Solar Crest, they did not want that fight. Lu was already making his way towards the mid lane. From the top side, and Butterfly is flying out for Lu now. No BKB I mean, that's on Mars. BKB down. 
No reason to stop here for Azure. Beastmaster Aura, Helm of the Overlord, Solar Crest. It's siege time, baby. Yes, it is. There's the tier 2 tower on the mid lane. Falling and Quest Esports, not a thing that they can do as the arena's down on Amar. It's down for another 40 seconds, and interestingly, BKB obtained here on Somnus. Just doesn't want to die to the Mars jump. Take his damage, voice spray damage. So now the siege of the high ground begins here. But FY clears the disruption illusions instantly. The real cool thing about Lion with Dusa is you can actually get the mana drain allies touch and just start pumping mana into your Dusa with the shard. The reflection damage though is a little bit scary here from TA2000. Especially when you cast it on the Medusa there, so Medusa will deal damage to herself. Wait, does a split shot come out from the reflection? It does. Oh, that's a bit nasty. Oh, look at Illusion's melt. He's picked oh, off seen. line as well. So now the they've way. taken down the tier 3. They lay into the melee racks now. What can we'll Quest Esports do time. about this? They, Arena's ready. Arena and BKB's ready. It's up to Amar now to decide when to jump. He's smoked up. He's ready. Gonna blink misses. in. Misses the spear. Oh no, but he's caught Arena into three. What do they need to do now? The stone gaze is up. Somnus in some trouble. Has to BKB and go off there. Chalice getting very low there as well. He's gonna be pursued. They will be able to find Omar. Chalice is down. The Undying will fall. Oh, disruption onto Medusa. And they Medusa caught themselves alone. to Medusa. Speared into the wall. Medusa's gonna fall here. Maybe perhaps she will. Medusa down. Dead and gone. Oh, can they get Was able to take down that Aegis. Oh god, gonna TP, gonna TP, but they had the Oh wait, what? No way! Amar, oh, he didn't even know he was there. Wait, did he know he was there or not? Because they had no vision. That's not his He just used God's Ring. He was blind. That was like right on the edge. That was on the edge, Adam. Yeah, that was a huge timing for Azure. I don't know how the fight went so wrong for them. The first arena to do something, it's just not enough yeah. damage falling through. Once the spells were used, the disruption came out of Lu, and there was just no more illusion here. Tier 2000 was so free to do all the damage they fight. I think it was the fact that, you know, even though the arena was committed like that, TA2000, they, he was able to lay in the damage there when the metamorphosis stayed outside, of the, stayed outside of the arena. So Medusa with the multi-shot wasn't able to hit out, because obviously, of course, if you do hit outside of the arena, the arena will actually block the damage there, won't it, with the projectiles? So Yeah, he had the reflection of the Beastmaster, so with the aura pumping into him as well, so much damage coming out. And then Omar with the blast off as well, coming into three as the stone gaze went off. So was able to actually disrupt the counter initiation there from Lou. Yeah, look at no 5k gold. I don't know what he's going to go for. Is he just going to go straight up nullifier here? Where's the BKB shoot out? I wonder what choice he'll make. Dyer, about TA 2000 Silver Edge BKB? Or he's going to go Crystal as BKB. I like this. BKB is going to be huge for him. It means free hitting into the Medusa. Only oh, a roll okay, can yeah. stop him. BKB on T T TA 2000. BKB on Noob. Starting to get some nice. I mean, BKB on Chalice. <laughs> a lot of Everyone's getting the BKB. Look at Samus' net worth. It's fallen off so hard. Azure have been grouping up while. Quest being a bit more efficient with the map. Obviously, a lot of gold from their team fight earlier. I mean, Roshan, he may be respawning at him in around about a minute. So he could see either side of the teams to try and contest the Roshan. Smoke up here from Quest Esports, though. Uh, moving around to the top as Roshan could be most potentially spawning here. So maybe perhaps they just want to sit up top lane around here. Though they have to be careful because Luke... It's your right. They're pushing in. They want the melee set of racks. Disruptions there. Oh, the slowdown there. With that demonic purge losing a rock in a hard place. FY's being found. 
I mean, the Primal Roar coming out there onto Noob, but Noob still lives through it all. Caught themselves loot, but where's the follow-up damage? TA2000, he's coming in Lou's now. In the big boy, the blast off. Lou, he's still alive, but they find themselves undying. There's no mana remaining as TA2000 able to get both the Medusa and the Undying. A double kill for him. They defend the high ground once again as they caught themselves. Chalice will be speared oh, no, into Amor. a tree, but a finger from FY will find the kill there indeed onto Amar. But another two kills for the Terra Blade, which makes that an ultra kill on TA2000. Terra Blade so strong. So much damage in the fight. See how everyone melts as soon as you get the beast all and Lou as well, he's just not able to do damage. There's this taser from Techies, the disruption's so annoying. Purge, the bulwark. Azure, it feels like they're crumbling. These team fights just always going in the favor of Quest here. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. As the graph is still around about 50% for either side of the teams. And I, I feel like Medusa still has um, a lot of wiggle room to try and get even stronger. Because it's only just a butterfly with a crystalist and a manta style here at the moment. So, I don't, <laughs> I don't yeah, know if the point, Quest Esports is going to give us up. another two-hour game. Can they really but play we will this? See. I guess she's Quest Esports now. Uh, Almost hex for a while. What's the longest game actually you've ever casted out of? These fights, they're so costly. So much net worth poured into these heroes. I think Adam? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think Adam has passed away. <laughs> we don't, like we don't hear him anymore. Now. Oh dear, okay. It's just me. You're going to have to deal with my we'll analysis here. It's, 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 like it's pretty you. poor. To say just the least, here. but let, let, let's cut into the gameplay anyway. TA2000, you Talk know, because Terra Blade, he doesn't have himself really very good mana regeneration. He will have to get himself a clarity here, which you should he do see from time to time. They are grouped up here. The smoke play is here because Roshan, he's just spawned up. And look at this. He's at the top left of the map, so both teams are going to meet each other, ready to pounce. Quest Esports, they want to get the upper hand here. They may have found themselves FY. FY actually going to blink away. Noob hot on his trail here, really wants to try and find FY. The TP's there, but it's going to be enough to get him out before he TP's away. It's now the attempt to go on to Chalice here, the defensive primal roar there with the BKB. Chalice will try and get himself away, but look at that. They do indeed push away Azure Ray here to get themselves the Roshan. But, check this out. They know that it's going to be moving. Yeah, and look at this, Quest Esports, really they're really all good. coming through the twin gate here, Lou. He has to be careful, they're going to commit now. The BKBs come out there, along with the arena as well. They will find themselves Omar, but in return on dying, taking way too much damage, along with the Medusa as well. Medusa's actually going to fall. I don't know if that was because of the Roshan. Roshan was stuck within the arena. I don't, I don't know if that was because of the Roshan dealing so much bash damage there to the Medusa, but nonetheless, look at that. They find themselves four here on the side of Quest Esports. I, I, I don't know if, if they... What? Because I know that he's able to actually bash away people. I don't know if Medusa lost all of her mana there because of the Roshan was stuck within the pit. So kept on bashing the Medusa. And Medusa had nowhere to go because of the arena as well. So both of them were locked in place. That was a really weird mechanic to see. But nonetheless, Quest Esports, they come out there with four kills onto Azure Ray. Because FY... He was not around. He was not around. Middle barracks are under attack. What can Azure Ray do now in this situation? I mean, the Roshan is still up. They didn't commit for it after that kill. Because they did lose themselves the Terror Blade. So they did finally have the opportunity to take down TA2000 there. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> TA2000 was actually killed by the Roshan. That is something that I missed. I can't believe we saw that. Roshan was actually the MVP of that fight, you know? Dealing the damage there to Lou and taking out TA2000. Classic carry moves, but they are going to go for the Roshan here as you're right Going to try and take themselves to Roshan right now. A smoke play from Quest Esports. They have themselves the arena ready and a hex here. Onto Amar, the arena comes out. 
the metamorphosis as well the primal roar is there lou is taking way too much damage here he may fall he has actually been able to get off the stone gates but doesn't have himself a lot of mana trying to lay in the damage here onto noob he doesn't have himself an escape can they find the kill here onto the void sprint yes they can void sprint is going to fall but in return the medusa will fall as well they've actually lost themselves free the buyback here from undying but ta2000 hammering in the damage here with the metamorphosis will be actually be able to find the kill there onto chalice double kill for him buyback on both chalice and the undying trying to come back to this fight it's now noob he's back as well able to find the kill there onto Somnus. Somnus will fall. The blast off there, stunning up the undying noob jumping in there with the astral set will find the kill. Look at that. They wipe out so many here on Quest Esports as now they head themselves into the Roshan. They will clean this up and the Ages of Immortality go into the, into the hands here of TA2000. Absolutely lovely stuff there. I don't know if Adam is back yet. Adam? He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh man, the fights for Azuri feel so hard. Noob's able to go in, Amar's able to go in, and they just have no way of fighting back. It feels like Noob doesn't do enough damage right now to really offer threat to any of these KP girls. Once Somnus goes down, once Chalice dies, it's so much damage gone. Look at Noob's item build, going for SNY as well. Satanic queued up. They know that these bursts and these stuns, uh, if they don't die during the stuns, the fight's kind of over for Azure. I mean, Medusa's having a huge trouble here in regards to the mana pool. It's just being completely decimated here. The damage is too much. I think really needs something like, I don't know, maybe, maybe just able to spam out this mystic snake losing way too much mana I, I i don't know what you do in this situation as medusa usually you really don't care about this damage because you're just tanking it up loads with the the mana shield but lou there's too much damage for him to handle out they, they need to do something together as a team as your ray in order to try and reduce the damage output being placed upon the medusa What the hell? We got us all a disperser here on TA2000. Now, we have seen this before, ladies and gentlemen. You may, we, we, we had a look at this at Dream League, but not in the Bally Major. So, you may be thinking, what the hell? Why is this disperser come out? I had, I had the exact same reaction, but me and Adam saw it come out to play. And this gives you like a little burst of extra movement speed. And it's actually so, so impactful to stay on top of your enemies if you cast it upon yourself. And it's a dispel as well, you know? You can dispel yourself. Everyone's forgot about the old Diffuser Blade in the past where you're able to dispel. They're actually going to go in for a team fight right now. They've actually hexed up the Medusa here and speared her in. But Medusa is okay. Has been placed within that tombstone. Will survive through that initiation. It's now they attempt to turn it around here. TA2000 has not been able to get himself up to the high ground there but the disperse will be used to get that insane movement speed that you saw there ladies and gentlemen to just be able to escape from that team fight now you see why this disperser is so good did you see the movement speed on terrorblade there he he moved at the speed of light he just was like see you guys <laughs> he was like see you guys I'm, I'm i'm just gonna go up the stairs disperser used i'm just gonna disengage from this team fight He also has no slots for any other item, so more mana burn. Always very nice against the Medusa. Able to keep up, chase the Zeus down too. Pretty cool item. Very niche, I must say, but pretty cool. I'm quite surprised to not see an Eye of Scaddy though on the Terror Blade. Thought that, that would be good, maybe perhaps on the Medusa. I think with the damage he's dishing out right now, he doesn't really need the anti attack speed, anti move speed. It just feels like he's going to kill anything he touches for. Three seconds. He's playing for his BKB. You want to kill heroes as fast as you can. I like his item choices. Makes his game very simple. You know, I press BKB, I kill you. You can't run away from me. So they get themselves the the shard there. I'll actually go to noob here. So able to get himself the upgraded Aether Remnant, which actually only connects to heroes, which is pretty good. And 
see Tannic being finished on the Void Spirit as well. What do you think about these funky items here? Like, usually we don't see them very much, like Sanjin Yasha and Satanic on Void Spirit? It's really quite an interesting one. Re oh, refresher. Refresher on a mob with the Hex. Which means double Hex, double Arena, and by, of course, double BKB. So this is a big chance now for Quest Esports to try and find themselves something big here. Proceeding to move around. Have they scattered out Somnus? Uh-oh. Smoke broken. Somnus in trouble. Going to try and heavily jump away. The BKB is there, but I think the physical damage is going to be too much for Somnus to handle. It is indeed. They find the kill. Somnus down for 80 seconds with no buyback here. But the Aegis has expired. But it may look like Quest Esports. They want to try and take themselves this bottom set of racks with the Zeus down for a minute. Really they really arena. Arena there. They've caught themselves the Undying. Undying no going to fall gonna... here. Meanwhile, their noob may die. He's oh, just no, able to actually heal up there with the Satanic and the Astral Step. Look at that combination. Yeah, it's FY arena, caught there by the Aether and then it's going to be found. Another Arena coming out there again as they spear the Medusa back and not let her into the fountain. Take out the Medusa and look at that. They bring back the Beastmaster there with the Aether Remnant. It's an absolute team wipe there from Quest Esports, absolutely well played and getting themselves a the team wipe, but look at this. They have themselves no buyback now, apart from on the Zeus. So this is the only one here with the buyback and they're gonna go for the tier fours. Buyback even matter though. Desolate board. Game looks kinda I, over. It, it does look kind of over, Adam. I, I, I don't think they're gonna be able to come back from this. There's no buyback zero, I mean, especially on Chalice as well. They're gonna hammer into the agent here. They have enough damage to take this game and there we go. GG game one gonna be going to quest esports here they'll be victorious for this game one out of the best of two